And welcome back. Sometimes I get this urge, like, I should just be stupidly enthusiastic one of these. Yeah, so I'd, I'm pretty sure I learn it from him when I'm an adult in this. I don't even think I have it right now. I don't know, though. Oh, I do. Okay. Do not remember learning that. Again, one of the things I hate about playing the game over and over again, especially when you're trying to talk over it or not doing it consistently, taking breaks and you'll just sort of forget what you have and forget what you've done. A lot of the time, honestly, I'll start over. Should empty the well. Gotta drain that swamp. Actually, weirdly excited to see that Buzz Lightyear movie. Honestly, really loved the Toy Story series. Also hoping it gets uh, a lot warmer outside so I can start going biking again. Really don't like biking while it's this cold out. Honestly, as a comfort thing, I went out biking quite a bit, even when I was younger, in a sweater. Even if it's like 30 out, I just don't give a shit. Learning to... not deal with that. everyone would probably be better off if they had a little bit more accurate uh, pattern recognition. It was a random thought I had. A lot of people, especially on the right, seem so obsessed with patterns and sequences and attributing different secret knowledge type things to certain patterns and sequences. And it reminds me of the concept of uh, like Supernatural with the sigmas? I, I can't remember the correct word for it. The symbols that they'd write, different powers incorporated, like 
write out the symbol in blood and you can send angels away and stuff like that. Stuff that seems nonsensical. But that's sort of the whole thing with witchcraft too and astrology and all sorts of other stuff is just honestly woke up this morning like yelling in my head from whatever dream I was having about how much I hate people's obsessions, absolute associations and obsessions with patterns and sequences that have no meaning outside of their scope. weird inability to figure out what the scope even is. And I know so much of it is just people not wanting to deal with their own insecurities. Wanting to have their own little safe zones. Not having to worry about who's going to infringe on their comfort. Literally both sides are dealing with the same thing. Confort war. Honestly, love one of the Twitter users I follow uh, named Comfortable Doug. Really awesome series on Netflix. They seem to be basing their account around one of the mole characters known as Doug. Sort of the premise of the account is no one's comfortable until everyone is, which is honestly true, like, the whole debate right now is people trying to establish comfort. A lot of people don't like to stream because they don't like being picked apart, the way that they say words, the way they comfort their words. almost get misunderstood like you're saying come forth or something and all you're saying is comfort a fritter my grandma would always say breakfast and it bothered me to no end Took me a lot to stop caring about that sort of thing. Appreciate the dynamic nature of slang. A lot of people almost seem like their worth is entirely based around whether or not they're right or wrong in these ways that, again, invalid pattern recognition. Save. Uh oh. Well, I guess I'll leave off here. Thank you for watching.